I turned this lamp body from a chunk of wood that I saved from the wood chipper. Let me show you how I did that. To get started, I need to secure this uh, piece of box elder to the lathe. And I'm using a faceplate to do it. I was able to get a couple of turning blanks from the big piece of box elder that I found. I used a chainsaw and a bandsaw to get those tasks done. Once attached to the lathe and further secured with a tailstock, it's time to get out the spindle roughing out gouge to remove the rough edges. While no one would ever confuse me with a professional wood turner, I really do enjoy it. This wood is still pretty green and it turns fairly easily. But I must confess, I have a bit of difficulty getting this sort of very soft green wood turned to a smooth finish. And for that reason, sandpaper is my friend. After sanding, I used fill and finish to seal the pores. Next, I had to drill a hole for the lamp wire through the center of the body. I drilled it while still on the lathe, but somehow got off center as I started. Make certain you don't make that sort of mistake. And lastly, I formed a channel to accept the lamp wire. The last step is to attach the lamp wire to the hardware and mount the lamp onto the body. The first thing to do is to thread the wire through the body. Next. Put the threaded tube into the hole you drilled. You can glue it with CA glue, but if it fits tightly, that is not required. Mount the threaded washer. Mount the harp on the threaded tube. Then tie the knot in the wire. Look at the wire. One strand is smooth and the other has a ridge. The ridge wire gets attached to the silver screw. Attach the other wire. With that done, find yourself a shade like this one you can purchase from Rockler, and you are done. A nice desk lamp. I hope you found this video interesting and perhaps a little bit informative. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching.